Hi, I'm Clint. In my first video, I talked a bit about the Velocity aircraft. This Velocity is going to be a bit different. The engine I'm going to be putting in my Velocity is the Viking 195T turbo. And this video is going to explain why. Since around the 1950s, the gold standard for aircraft engines has been the horizontally opposed air-cooled big bore direct drive piston engine such as the Lycoming and Continental. These engines are known to be simple and reliable and because of that they've stood the test of time. When deciding on an aircraft engine combination, I was looking for something fast, efficient, quiet, safe, reliable and easy to fly. To be viable, the aircraft had to be affordable to buy, build, maintain and operate. The Viking 195T is a 1.5 litre turbocharged Honda Accord car engine. The engine has been slightly modified and adapted for use in aircraft by Viking Aircraft Engines in Florida. At this time, this engine hasn't been tried in a velocity, so this will truly be experimental. By adding a variable pitch propeller to the already turbocharged Viking engine, I get the benefits of shorter takeoffs and climbs in hot weather and a higher cruise altitude and speed. Because the Viking is a car engine, this means it can run on avgas as well as premium unleaded, which is cheaper. Maintenance is a lot cheaper, oil, oil filters and parts are all cheaper and readily available almost anywhere. Maintenance is especially cheaper when done by me or my brother-in-law who's a qualified car mechanic. If I'd gone with a new traditional aircraft engine such as the Lycoming IA360, I could expect to pay at least $47,000 Australian. This doesn't include an exhaust system, turbocharging system, alternator or a constant speed propeller governor. I also wouldn't feel comfortable inspecting and maintaining this kind of engine, so that work would have to be outsourced to a licensed aircraft mechanical engineer. In contrast, the turbocharged Viking engine alone is around $25,000 and a fully kitted out engine with exhaust, fuel system, engine mount and ready for a variable pitch propeller, I was looking at $32,000. The installation of the Viking engine is relatively straightforward and well explained and demonstrated by Jan at Viking with plenty of videos. I'll make another video about the Viking 195 and we'll take a deeper look at what's included with the Viking engine. I'll discuss the intercooler, the radiator and how we'll set those up and what options we have to work with. 